Jimmy Hello, and Bob. Bob. Jimmy and Bob. Hello. No, Jimmy. This is Bob. That's Jimmy. Hello, Bob. Hello, Jimmy. I'm on. Let's go. Let's meet. go back in our home. No, let's go. Yo, Fred and Weiss man. Do you guys no. know the story about these eggs? So, Tuesday, I decided to get on eBay and buy one. some peacock eggs and an incubator. Oh, wait, yeah. And then when I read some Stranger Things, you were like, hey, hey, Bob, we bought, we, we just bought five eggs, even though we have four. Well, remember, what happened was I was looking for live peacock chicks and I couldn't find any around here. So I bought some on eBay from a very nice lady. And then the very next day, I found some around by our house. So, we bought these peacock eggs, and then the next day, we found those live ones. John, Jimmy, Bob, and what'd you call it? Also from a very nice lady. So, we have nine potential peacocks now, and I only intended to have these five eggs. I named Tutu and he named Lewis. Fred, Jimmy, and Bob. Fred, Jimmy, and Bob. Very well packaged. Is that what it said, or did you just say that? That's what I said. Look, a box and a box wrapped in a bunch of mailers. How many boxes are there? Is that so, so they, well, they probably can't escape. Are they eggs? Yeah. They, yeah, they, they, they're just eggs. They can't escape. So we got some newspaper. Ooh, coupons. Ooh. We got our first egg. Look at that big thing. Do not oh. shake it. But can we uh, make sure do not touch the egg? I know, I know. I'm just cutting So I'm cutting the sticker. Can I touch it? Because I've never touched an egg before. So you don't want to. Wait. You don't want to shake it? You don't want to spin it, or... it around. You don't want to get it too shaken up. I, I've never, um, hold, I've never okay. had a, um, a, a live egg. You want to hold it? Yeah. Can you be careful with it? Is that crap? No, it's just like uh, feathers and bird poop and stuff from the, all no, the bird poop. No, I'm talking about this. Yeah, no, it's just a little, little bit of bird poop. You know. Oh, that's heavy. Yeah, peacock eggs are larger than chicken eggs, aren't they? Yeah. If we're going to talk about large eggs, talk to an ostrich. True. Aren't those the biggest eggs on the planet? I think they're the biggest bird eggs. Do you remember what temperature the chicken eggs needed to be at to incubate? No. Wait, it's like 95? Is it like 95.5? I don't know. I never, I've never done it. I'm pretty sure that's cool. So the peacock eggs are like 99.5. So that's what we're going to do for these. So you'll see when you turn it on. For the first time, it will do this little beepy thing. So I actually warmed this up yesterday just to make sure everything was working properly. Um, 
So one thing I did notice was that now the count, the timer is still at 39 days, which means this does have some internal memory, which is nice should you lose power or it comes unplugged or, or something happens, it, it will at least uh, remember your countdown. Now I don't know how long that internal memory lasts, but good to know that it does last, you know, for some short period of time. Um, so we'll go through the programming here. Enter 99.5 days. Peacocks are 28 days for incubation. Um, T mode, which is the turning mode, so you can either do on, off, or auto. We want auto turn interval, so how many minutes between rotations. Um, so we want, I don't know what we want, we'll go for an hour, I don't really know. Turn, oh, sorry, turn angle, five degrees. What does this go to? 20? I don't really know. Let's just do 10 in the middle and see what happens. High alarm. So high alarm is, this thing will, I guess, beep at a set point, so 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit above our maintained set point. So I guess I'd like to know if it's just three Fahrenheit above, if something's wrong then, because it's gonna be out of the sun and in a closed room. I don't see it getting hotter than that. Same thing for the low. I want to know if it gets more than three degrees below my set point. Okay, so the cooling mode is for if you want to set an interval for the heater to turn off. I guess that's common for waterfowl, um, not for peacocks. So you can default is off. You can do zero to 360 in sets of or intervals of 10. We'll leave it off. This is where you select Celsius or Fahrenheit. This is America, so we do not use centigrade. And then to save, okay. All right, so what you see here, uh, days, 28 days. The temperature is 95.5 degrees Fahrenheit. The asterisk uh, signifies that it is heating up. And when it's to, temp when it's, to its temperature, that asterisk will go away. Um, and then it will just kind of bounce around that temperature set point. Um, and now in 59 minutes and some odd seconds, that plate will turn for a duration of whatever time I set that angle to. And that's it. And it's important to note that this has an automatic lockdown feature. So two days prior to, to the um, total that you set. So when that countdown goes down to two, it will stop the auto turning function. And uh, at that point, you will fill the water container in the central pot. So there's two halves. Let me show you. So, by filling this side, there's an equalizer tube that comes over to here. And they say if you keep that full below this little line here, that will give you the relative humidity that you need. Now, at the lockdown period, you want to fill up both sides of this. Now, to do that, you just pour the water above this little notch. And what that does is it, it allows it to spill over this little div divider here, and that will increase your humidity. And so you'll do that for the last two days. All there is to it. So we are going with the Brensee Mini 2 Advanced Incubator. Good reviews, digital, timer, temperature, auto turning. One of the bad things about it though that I read is that the peacock eggs are too big for these holes. So as it rotates, the, the egg isn't actually sitting through those holes and getting turned. So I figured I would put a couple on here and see if that is the case. See if I can get these to rotate. See, this 
they kind of just drag. They don't actually rotate. Let's see if I can't. I'm putting the pointy end towards the inside. That makes the most sense to me. See, as this thing spins, they're too big. They're, they're not actually pushing through. And I'll show you what I mean by that. So the egg sitting on the hole, there's just not quite enough egg through there to get a good turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that hole a little bit and we'll see if that helps. To open this up, I'm just going to use a Dremel tool, with this round barrel sander on it, I'll just kind of just make some passes. Test here. Well, it really doesn't look like it sticks through that much more. I think we need to make this area down here a little bigger. Okay, it looks a little better. turning there so we'll do four more holes okay so we increase the size of all the holes and now when you spin the plate you see they all turn they don't turn great though so I'll probably keep a close eye on this at first maybe kind of rearrange the egg placement it might make a difference which ones go where and if it's not effective, then I might just do hand turning. Well, there we go. I might have found the magic combination here. So. Alright, so... This is our little boy or girl that we got out of the five eggs we ordered on eBay. So, um, does the Brincy Mini 2 Advanced Incubator work? Yes, it does. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. If it is within your budget to, to spend more, you might as well. However, if you have the Brincy and you don't want to buy anything else, it will do the job. So, two out of five. I'm sorry, one out of five actually hatched, and this is this is him or her, I can't tell. It's still pretty young. Um, it is important to note that there was one other egg that was fully developed and actually started to break out of the egg. I was out of town for work the day that both of these started to emerge, and the other one of the other one, other than this one, obviously. Uh, just didn't just didn't get out of the egg and by the time I got home two days later or a day and a half later um, it had died in the egg so there just was nothing else we could do about it but we do have this cute little bird here anyway so do I recommend it huh if you are a uh, budget conscious and uh, don't have any other alternatives you can definitely make it work uh, but if you're going to spend $20 or more on each egg, maybe invest in a slightly larger, I don't know what's going on, slightly larger, a little bit better incubator. But it does do what it says. It worked as it was told, as it was supposed to. It, it doesn't claim to hatch peacock eggs, actually. So no misrepresentation. I guess I do give it a five stars because it does do what it's supposed to do. So. See ya.